On my journey to generate some useful energy with different Stirling engines, I would like to try a different approach. The thermomechanical generator is an ingenious vibrator stirling engine with a diaphragm instead of a piston and a spring-mounted displacer. Its unique design eliminates the fundamental problems with wear and friction with which I had great problems with my stirling engines. The thermomechanical generator was developed to run several years without maintenance in remote locations. It would therefore be perfect as a micro cogeneration unit for domestic use. But of course, the TMG also has its disadvantages and problems. The thermomechanical generator was invented in 1967 by a team led by E. H. Kugiaburo at the Harbour Laboratories in the United Kingdom. It was intended as a very long life electrical power source in remote areas. In addition to its extreme endurance properties, it offers a number of additional advantages. There are no complex heat exchanges and instead of a mechanical drive, the piston is designed as a diaphragm while the stroke of the displacer is controlled by a leaf spring. There is no rolling or sliding friction or wear and the working space is hermetically sealed. Because none of the moving parts roll or slide across each other, no lubricant is needed and there is no wear in any part of the engine. The very fast oscillation is coupled to a linear alternator which can have a conversion efficiency of 90% even with a very small stroke. The TMG control system is a purely electrical one that acts upon the output of the alternator. The TMG design seems to overcome so many of the practical and financial problems of conventional Stirling engines, but it also has disadvantages. The feedback loop of the spring-mounted displacer and the diaphragm piston coupled to the linear alternator is quite complex. The dynamic analysis is quite difficult and the resulting design of the spring forces of the displacement spring and piston diaphragm under the influence of the restoring force of the linear generator is extremely complicated. In contrast, the explicit dynamics of a kinematic system are much easier to calculate and handle. I imagine it is very difficult to balance all parameters in such a way that the feedback loop is triggered and the TMG starts at all despite previous theoretical design. The ratio of very large bore diameter to very small stroke avoids the need for an expensive tubular or thinned heater and cooler. This advantage is offset by the need of much bigger parts with greater workload, which would then push my machines to their limits. For comparison, my 300 watts rhombic sterling has a cylinder bore of 60 mm, while the original Howell TMG has a displacer diameter of about 140 mm, and the later Homark TMG of even 360 mm. The diaphragm is either made of expensive, hard to obtain beryllium copper, which has to be specially formed in a complicated process, or complex mounted double-walled, water-cooled rubber membranes. Both types are difficult to design and manufacture as I have no experience with these techniques and there is very little information available. The displacer spring, made of hardened spring steel sheet, must have an even larger diameter and is not easy to machine. My homemade EDM would help me a lot here. Many variants of both important components would probably have to be produced, which is very time consuming and cost intensive. The linear generator is also of central importance and has a variable gap flux switching configuration about which there is not much documentation and which does not really correspond to my experience. The elegant design 
unfortunately leads to a very low power output. The original Harwell TNG reached 25 to 60 watts, while the later, much larger Homec TMG produced 150 watts. The few homemade TMGs I have heard of perform more in the region of 5 watts. Many of the advantages of the TMG sound very tempting and the unique design seems to be able to solve exactly the problems I have been struggling with for years. My Stirling engines with kinematic gears are too complex and therefore too expensive and maintenance intensive due to wear and friction. The TMG also involves difficulties in design and production that I can hardly estimate and that could prove to be unsolvable. At first I saw a lot of potential in the uniquely elegant concept for my next big generator project. But the more I have looked into it, the more my doubts have grown as there are many complexities. What do you think of the thermomechanical generator? Please let me know and write your opinion in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.